how to add add-ons on Square Appointments. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how simple and easy it is to add an add-on or some options that you're going to make them uh, not free basically into your uh, Square Appointment uh, website or the calendar. So the process is going to be very easy and simple. We are going to head over to squareup.com, sign in for an account. And as you can see, we are going to find the dashboard in here. So we are going to head over the left side of the screen, click on appointments, and then we are going basically here to click on the uh, overview. So what are we going to do here is basically to create a service. So how we can create the service, when you click on overview, you're going to see the primary setup. So uh, we are going to find that we have created already some services, but I'm going to repeat that. So we are going to add our service manually. I'm going to let you see here how we can set up the details. So basically I'm going to put some details right here and there, put a random price, for example, like that. I'm going to put a random price. Then we are going to set up the duration and click on more options. So this is the most easiest step that you can do to add the add ons. So once we have did that, what we're going to do is very simple. We're going to wait for a few seconds until we are going to find the service library. Basically, it is going to be situated into the item library. So here we have the service editor or the complete editor. We're going to find the name, description and everything. But here we are going to focus on one area, which is going to be here. So we are going to have the variation, which is going to be the add on. So you can go ahead and create multiple variation of a single service, which is going to be setting up different pricing options and duration and more. So we are going to click on add and then you're going to have some choices like details, online booking, locations and custom attributes. So you can add another for each one of them. For example, for details, maybe you are going to have here detailed, detailed consultation like that boom and for the price we are going to change the price to maybe uh, 100 dollar so for the price it is going to be uh, fixed now we are going to uh, have the duration for example of let's say zero minutes but one hour you can add or block extra time after appointments or something like that. You can also add another uh, add on for it. I'm going to click on add. So as you can see, I'm going to click on also add and set up maybe an online booking for, uh, I, I don't know, here is something that you're going to put. You can go ahead and assign team members or set up something for the location. You can put some changeable locations for the attributes. Also, you can go ahead and do that. Now, that was pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Do not forget to save the parameters that you have set. And here you go. So, aside from the uh, specific variation that we need to add to add them as add-ons, for the online booking, you can go ahead and set up a price description, maybe to justify the price. For example, here, premium, for example, service, or you can go ahead and set it as VIP, for example, like that. VIP and like this. So you can go ahead and search for something or add another, uh, let's say here, specific attribute, and it is going to be here. So this is the variation. And we can go ahead and see that it has changed or the uh, pricing is going to be here, uh, of course. For the attributes or the modifiers, you can go ahead and add some modifiers. As you can see, these are going to be called um, item modifiers. So that was pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content. And I hope to see you soon on the next one.